We've made it into Kashmir. This is one of the most controversial regions in South Asia. Both India and Pakistan lay claim to this place. There have been two wars, several conflicts, and thousands have died on both sides. On the ground here, there is a heavy military presence. It's all over this city of Srinagar, the capital of Kashmir. But this is also one of the most naturally beautiful regions on earth and millions of tourists have started to flock back here in the last couple of years, but a lot has happened to get to this point. The Himalayan region has been a flashpoint between India and Pakistan since independence in 1947, and now it's one of the most militarised zones in the world. Pakistan controls some of Kashmir, and part of the region is administered by the Indian government. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government in 2019 revoked its autonomous status, taking full control away from a local government and giving it to New Delhi. Pakistan wants a referendum to decide Kashmir's status, but the Indian government claims Kashmiris support Indian rule. Bharat, in sab chijon ko piche chhodkar bahut aage aa gaya hai, aur mujhe lagta hai ki G20 ki presidency hamare liye garo ka vise hai. Kashmir is a naturally beautiful place. I am surrounded by snow-capped Himalayan mountains. There are stunning lakes, houseboats. You can go trekking. The history is really interesting. The weather's perfect in summer and in winter. You can go skiing in this region. But if the Indian government wants to attract more visitors to Kashmir, it's being pushed to deal with the security situation on the ground. India is holding a G20 meeting in Kashmir of the leading rich and developing nations. Security has been beefed up because of terror threats. Marine commandos searched the stunning Dal Lake as tourists enjoyed boat rides. Schools were shut down and bunkers hidden behind freshly painted walls. But while India is trying to project an image of normalcy, it's being criticised for holding the meeting in a disputed territory. China's boycotted the event and hundreds have protested in Pakistan against it. Many Kashmiris we spoke to did not want to speak on camera, but told us they felt crushed between two countries and were scared of speaking out. Almost 700 people were arrested in the lead up to the G20. Critics say to silence dissent, the Indian government says they're terrorist sympathisers. Dr. Sheikh Shaukat Hussain has been a human rights scholar at a number of universities. Last year, he was sacked as the head of the Central University of Kashmir's legal faculty. He says it was because he's been critical of the Indian government and that the G20's attempts to show normalcy in Kashmir don't reflect the situation on the ground. Previously, we could express, we could write, we could go to Delhi and participate in seminars and conferences. But now that is a past. It is no more possible. But other Kashmiris we spoke to are calling for more tourism to move on from the historical tensions. It's there are calls for the Australian government to downgrade its do not travel status. While the Indian government hopes to lure foreigners to the region, it's rare for them to grant international press access. This trip granted because of the G20 has revealed a picturesque place with an uneasy calm.